start with the water connection. Now any plumbing fixture should have a separate service shutoff. We're going to install one like this right on this pipe. But right now we have full water pressure behind that pipe, so we don't want to cut it yet. What we need to do is to shut the water coming into the house. Well, I know where that is. Good. Go do that. Great. All right, Richard, I've shut off the main and uh, opened up all the sinks upstairs. All right. So let's open up this faucet right here. And some of the last of the water will drip out. But we won't get all of it. So there's still going to be some water right here. So when we cut it, we'll catch it in this shallow pan. Now, before we cut it, I always like to clean the pipe first. So this is some emery cloth. All right, that looks clean enough. Now, we are going to install this shutoff, and it's a solderless connection. There's a nut right here we'll tighten up, and they also have this nice chrome flange. So we actually want to cut the pipe off right about there. Good. Okay, here it comes. Not too bad. All right, we put our escutcheon plate on, and now this is our compression stop, and the connection is made up of a nut, a brass ring that goes over the copper, and the fitting itself. So there's the nut, the brass ring goes over the copper, and now as we tighten up this nut, it'll actually deform that brass ring right down onto the copper so tight that it makes a watertight connection. So we snug it up by hand and finish it off with two wrenches. All right, so the water's back on, our shutoff is holding tight. Now we're going to talk about the drain connection. We need to install this closet flange. It needs to secure to this PVC pipe right here and also to the floor below it. Now I'm going to put a little rag in here to keep the sewer gas from coming up through here. Now, when I put this on, look how much higher it is than the floor. It's about five inches and I need it to be all the way down. Now what you got below the floor is a pipe like this that goes down into an elbow below the floor and is glued in place. I want to shorten it, but look, I can't actually take a saw like this because five inches is a point down below the floor. There is a special drill bit for this. This is a special cutter wheel that would allow me to go down inside the pipe five inches and cut it exactly at the right depth. All right, so I'm looking to cut about five inches off of that pipe. And so there's the blade. And look, that brings it just about to the shoulder of that drill bit. So that's pretty lucky for me. Okay. Good. But I still can't fit that flange down over the pipe until I remove some of this thin set. So what I'm going to try to do is to get this wrap off of the outside of this pipe. Somebody did us a real favor leaving this spacer in here. Good. All right, so let's give it a test. So here's our flange. We want to be sure we install it in a certain way because I need to be sure that these closet bolts, they're the brass bolts that will hold the toilet to the flange, are positioned at 9 and 3 in relation to the wall. And let's see if it goes to down far enough. Perfect. So now we're ready to pull this back up, glue it, and secure it to the floor. So I apply primer and cement to both the flange and the pipe and glue them together. I'm pre-drilling the ceramic tile with a masonry bit. and then securing that flange with masonry anchors. All right, Ryan, so here is your standard two-piece toilet. It has a bowl and a tank. It always comes with this. It's called a close couple kit, which includes the gasket. Now that's good. Why don't you lift that right up for me, would you? 
That's the gasket that's going to go between the tank and the bowl to make a watertight seal. Just, you can see there's a couple of brass bolts right there. Set it right down. And I'm going to give you this, a couple of nuts and a special wrench that you can tighten up those bolts to the tank. All right, I'll just hold back on this screw up here while you tighten up those bolts, all right? All right. All right, let's also put the toilet seat on while we're out here. I'll give you these two nuts at the bottom. A couple of these plastic screws go down. Again, I'll hold back while you tighten them up. All right, that should be tight enough. There's a couple of bolt holes here at the bottom. That's where those closet bolts that come out of our flange are going to stick up through. Now, we need to make a nice tight seal at the bottom of this toilet. So to do that, we're going to introduce a wax ring. That's going to sit right here, and it's going to seal against sewer gas leaking out or water leaving the bottom of the toilet. Now, I'm going to go put this onto the flange. You can tip that back up and bring it in. Bring it in, lift with your legs, be careful of your back. Get it centered right over the bolt holes. And once you see them, drop it straight down. All right, when you get it close, push it down, good. That wax seal will just squeeze right to that bottom. Beauty. Now to trim out this bolt, we have a bolt cap base and it's marked this side up, a stainless washer and a nut. We'll tighten them up on both sides, and that'll really squeeze that wax seal tight. And I'll snug them up with an adjustable open end. I want to do the same on the other side and go back and forth between the two. I really don't want to over tighten these things and snap the porcelain. All right, so the closet bolts are now snug. The toilet is really solid. But you'll notice that the bolt is too long for the bolt cap to fit over it. So for that we use a mini hacksaw and that'll cut that brass bolt to length. <laughs> Perfect. The last connection to make is the water supply from our new shutoff to the bottom of our toilet tank. And for that we're going to use a stainless steel flexible water supply. Now our new shutoff came with another nut and a ferrule, but we don't need to use those because the new flexible connector has watertight connections of their own. Okay. Turn the water on. That's a good sound. All right, Ryan, the tank is filled with water. We don't have any leaks. You get the honor of the first flush. Well, thanks. That's awesome. <laughs>